Hello friends, in this video we will explain you valuation of bonds. In this video we will cover types of bonds and debentures, calculation of present market value that is VD and solved problems of university question papers. And this video is useful for BCom, BBA, MBA, CA, CS and CMS students. So let's start. Valuation of bonds are debenture. There are two types of bonds are debentures. One is bonds with maturity period. In the sense, the bonds will be redeemed after certain time period. Under that, bonds with definite maturity period. In the sense, the entire amount of bond or debenture will be paid off after completion of certain time periods. Let's say 5 years, 10 years. And the second category is bonds redeemable in installment. In the sense, the bond value will be redeemed in installments every year. Instead of lump sum payment at the end of certain time period, it will be paid off in installment. And the second category is bonds in perpetuity. In the sense, irredeemable. Bonds will not be redeemed until the existence of company. Right? Once the company if the company is getting closed in sense, then only the amount is payable. It will not be paid during the lifetime of the company. That is called as perpetuity or irredeemable bonds. Bonds with maturity period. When you talk about the bonds with maturity period, the formula of calculation of bond is equals is VD is equals to R1 by 1 plus KD whole to the power of 1 plus R2 by 1 plus KD whole to the power of 2 plus R3 by 1 plus KD whole to the power of 3, so on, till the last maturity year. That is Rn by 1 plus KD whole to the power of N. That is Rn is the last interest amount at the end of the maturity period. And M, N divided by 1 plus KD whole to the power of N. Whereas VD stands for value of debt or bond. R1, R2 is the annual interest payment for period 1, 2 and so on till the last year. Whereas KD is refers to required rate of return. This is the rate of return the, the investor is expecting from the bond. Whereas M stands for maturity value of the bond in the sense after the completion of the uh, bond time after completion of certain time period what is the maturity value? The amount is received by the investor is called as maturity value. N stands for number of years to maturity. So 5 years, 10 years, so on. So that will be given in the question. So we'll see one question. An investor is considering to purchase 8% 100, 1000 rupees bond redeemable after 5 years. The investor is required rate of return is 10%. What should be he willing to pay now to purchase the bond? In the sense, what information we have given? The bond value is 1000 and coupon rate of interest is 8% will be received by the investors and it is redeemable after the completion of 5 years. The investor is expecting that his required rate of return is 10%. What should be he willing to pay? In the sense we have to calculate the present value of the bond with a series of cash inflows in the form of interest in the form of maturity value. How to calculate that? The same formula just now what we have discussed that is VD is equals to R by 1 plus KD whole to the power of 1, so on, till the nth period, that is in this case 5 years. So when you see VD is equals to, we need to calculate R1, R2, that is 80 rupees. How we got 80 rupees? That is 1000 is the value of bond into 8% is 80 rupees, whereas KD is equals to 10%, that is required rate of return is 10%, given in the question. M is equals to 1000 that is maturity value after the completion of 5 years the company will give us 1000 rupees as maturity value. N is equals to number of years 5 years. If you apply the same formula with the same values, uh, VD is equals to 80. 80 is the interest that is R1 return by divided by 1 plus 0 0.1 whole to the power of 1 so on we have to calculate right. In the fifth year if you see 80 by 1 plus 0 0.1 whole to the power of 5 plus 1000 the maturity value even we are receiving on fifth year that is 1 plus 0 0.1 whole to the power of 5. So when you simplify this equation the today's value of the bond will be 924.20.
in the sense if you wanted to purchase this bond you must purchase at 924 rupees only clear so like this we can calculate the value of bond or else we can use table format even what is this table format table format if you can see here i have presented year 1 2 3 4 5 then cash inflows that we are receiving every year 80 to 80 rupees as interest till 5 years and fifth year please bear in mind we are receiving what uh, principal amount that is m that is maturity value we are getting 1000 so here we have taken present value factor at 10 percent why we have taken 10 percent because the required rate of return that is kd is 10 percent so if you see the take kd value at 10 percent we will get 0 0.909, 0 0.826, 0 0.751, so on till 0 0.621 fifth year value. These values you can calculate with the formula or else you will find a table. In this video, I will show you the table, even present value table, how these values has been arrived, right? Then what we have to do, just multiply the cash inflow with present value. Then you will get present value of cash inflow, right? So then make the summation of present value of cash inflow that will be 924.20. Clear? That is called as the value of debt that is VD. If you see, if you notice, fifth year we have taken interest 80 plus fifth year we are getting maturity value even. So this is the way we can calculate in the table format even. This is also acceptable in the examination. Besides, when the cash inflows are uniform, if you see 80 rupees we are receiving every year till 5th year. So when these are uniform, we can do in this manner even by using present value of annuity table also. I am showing in all the three ways how to calculate. So in the present value of annuity, if you see the next table which I have just now shown, that is year 1 to 5 a kept. In the sense 80 rupees we will be receiving every year 1 to 5 the present value of annuity factor it is present value of annuity at 10 percent is 3.9 3.79 how i got this 3.79 the table is available even i will show you the table besides if you calculate the 0 0.909826756836216621 the summation will be 3.79 like this also we can do when we can do like this whenever the cash inflows are uniform 80 rupees till 50 year then only we can do otherwise we cannot do this we can go by the other earlier table clear so when you multiply like this you will get present value is 30 3.2 then fifth year alone we are getting 1000 rupees as maturity value that's the reason why i took 1000 rupees with present value of 50 50 year at 10 percent is 0 0.621 so then we will get the same value of present value of cash inflow that is vd VD is 924.20. So either way you do, apply the formula or prepare the table. Either way it is fine in the examination. But for clarity sake you write the formula first. Then you, whether you wanted to do table format or directly in the apply the formula that is up to you. So this is the way you can simply solve the problem. Clear? We will see one more university question paper question. Then we will understand further. So this is the table, present value table. If you see the values that highlighted here, 10%, in the sense 6 to 1 we have taken. This is the present value table. You can get on in your uh, textbooks backside or else you can download from internet even. Then present value of annuity table, right? So this is the present value of annuity table. In the sense, the cumulative frequency of present value of 1 rupee, right? If you see at 10%, I have highlighted with underlining 3.790, right? So, this is the value that we have taken. This is the cumulative value of earlier table, right? So, uh, I will uh, try to keep the, keep in the comment what we call description box, the PDF files of these tables. If possible, I'll keep it. You can download from there. Right. The next question, this question was asked in Usmani University IFA paper, BBA, November, December 2021 paper. The market value of debenture is 2000 with coupon rate, that is interest rate. 
12.5 percent and eight years to maturity the ytm is 10 percent ytm stands for required rate of return right ytm is one of the concepts that i will uh, show you in down the line videos i did not make a video but i will be making the video on ytm even so you can understand ytm but here you just bear in mind ytm is refers to the required rate of return that is expected by the investor that is 10 percent and whereas bond is giving 12.5%. What would be the intrinsic value? Intrinsic value in the sense value of bond only. How to calculate the same procedure? Apply the formula. The VD is equals to R1 by 1 plus KD is the same formula which I have explained. In this case, the VD we have to calculate R1, R2 till R8 will be 250. How did I calculate 250? 2000 into 12.5%. Whereas KD is equals to 10%, that is YTM. M is equals to 2000, the maturity value where N is equals to 8 years. After the 8 years, the value will be 2000 will be given. So further, if you simplify the equation, you will get the value 2266. That is 2266.73 is the value. In the same way, you can do this in the table format even. The same table which I have prepared in the earlier uh, problem the same way 250 each year eighth year 250 plus eighth year we will get even 2000 rupees so present values i have taken 10 percent at uh, at 10 percent for eight years then multiply with that you will get the value then make the summation you will get the present value otherwise you can use this present value of annuity table even right year one to eight we will get 250 rupees every year because 250 is the uniform value we will be getting up to eighth year so that's the reason why 1 to 8 year, 250 into the present value of annuity factor that is 5.3349, right? That is the summation of 0 0.909 till 0 0.4665. So you'll get 1, 3.73 and 8th year you will get 2000 rupees in the form of maturity value. That will be multiplied with present value table, present value that is 0 0.4665, 10th year value. So 933. So make the summation to double two double six is seven point seven three is the value, right? So I hope I made you understand the basic crux of the concept. So do watch uh, my videos regularly. I will be making more videos based on the bond valuation with different methods, right? So uh, the most significant part of this concept is you must understand the relationship between the required rate of return that is YTM and coupon rate of interest that is bond interest rate please bear in mind this concept is very important situation one if required rate of return ytm is greater than coupon rate of interest kd then bond market value will be less than its face value in the sense in the first situation what has happened first question ytm was 10 percent and coupon rate was eight percent and the face value was 1000 if you see the first question which i have done in this uh, video so what was the face value 1000 and YTM was 10% interest rate is 8% in the sense our YTM that is uh, required rate of return is greater than the coupon rate then what was the market value 924.20 in the sense less than the face value in the second situation if your required rate of return is equal to YTM so equal to coupon rate YTM and required rate of return is same if your YTM is equal to interest rate that is coupon rate the market value will remain same equal thousand rupees market value will be thousand because the company is giving same percentage you are expecting same percentage in the first situation company is giving eight percent you are expecting ten percent then market value of the bond has been decreased that is reduced that is 924 in the situation three if the ytm is less than the coupon rate of interest provided by the company in that case what will happen the face value the market value of the bond will be greater than the face value in the second question which i have done in this video what has happened the ytm was 10 percent whereas coupon rate was 12.5 percent which is more than the ytm that is required rate of return then the 2000 face value of bond when we calculated the market value it came to 22 double six in the sense 2266.73 in the sense more than the face value so like this if coupon rate that is ytm is greater than coupon rate market value will be more if ytm is less than coupon rate sorry 
if ytm is less than coupon rate market value will be greater if ytm is greater than coupon rate the market value will be less this is the basic concept that you remember clear so i wish you all the best thanks for watching the video do subscribe my channel mentor the trusted guide right further videos will be posted in this channel thank you very much